Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be learning how to convert text into speech. If you're not following this IQ series, for every 100 IQ, I'm adding one line of code. So for example, in this video, we are going to be doing 400 IQ. That means we are going to be converting text to speech using four lines of code. And because we'll be using just four lines of code, we need to use a library to convert the text to speech. So what I found this library is PYT TSX3, which is works perfectly for converting text to speech. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to install this library first, but writing pip install and then PYT TSX3. You can use whatever editor you want. I've already installed this library, so it's not going to install it again. And then I'm just going to import this library inside my code by writing the import statement. So let's just add this in. After that, we need to initialize this library. So I'm just going to write engine equals to and this is just a variable you can call it whatever you want but i'm just going to call it engine and then to initialize the library just write the name of the library and then in it and this should initialize the library and then you just tell the engine whatever you want it to say so i'm just going to write engine dot say and inside parenthesis you can just say uh, build with python is awesome and then finally we need to tell the engine to wait so that it has completed all the words so we are just going to write engine dot run and wait over here and that's pretty much it. So let's just run this over here and see how it sounds. So inside my command line, I'm just gonna write Python and main.py and Build press enter. Python is awesome. Let's just hear it once more. Build with Python is awesome. And you can also save this audio to an MP3 file by using a different method over here, which is save to file. And then it requires the text and the file name. So we already have the text over here. So I'm just gonna cut this and paste it over here. And you can call the file name whatever you want. I'm just gonna call the file test.mp3. And after you run this, this should create an mp3 file for us. And if you look on the left hand side, an mp3 file has been created. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, be ready to increase your IQ by 100, which is not possible practically, but 